just enjoying my Honey Nut Cheerios before I get started. Um, I usually forget to eat while I do this all day. <laughs> I'm starting with the Benefit Browsings in Dark. It comes with a tiny little applicator brush. Um, I just dipped it into the wax and the powder together and filled in my bald spots and then I dragged the color down the tail end and whatever product is left on that little brush I flick towards the front to try to keep it natural. I wanted to start doing my brows a little bit more natural and this kit was really great for that. It's like a tiny little compact. I love it to throw in my bag for work too. Um, it also has a tiny pair of tweezers in it which is really cool because if you put it in your makeup bag and you know when it gets a little bit weird on your brows, maybe you forgot to get them done and you need to throw a little makeup on, um, there's a tiny pair of tweezers. I also um, highlighted my brow bone with Benefit High Brow and this looks so much more natural than when I was doing it with the concealer. I really love it. I'm using a Morphe concealer brush to just blend that down onto my lid. Of course I prime my lid with Stay Don't Spray by Benefit also and just to create depth in my crease because it's a really 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 smoky eye I'm using um, MAC Bamboo with a Sigma blending brush. It's a really fluffy and wide brush and then with one of my favorite Morphe blending brushes I'm using Brown Script and I'm just building in the depth because it's a really really pink and smoky eye so it's going to need a lot of layers of shading to not look tacky and using a more um, dense blending brush, I'm using Deep Damson by MAC. It's a really deep purple, um, really deep purple shade. It's also matte. It's one of my favorite purple shades. I think this shade looks so good on so many people. And I'm just blending those together so it doesn't look all crazy and choppy. I already did the other eye there. This is just to create the depth and then I'm going to go in with a bright pink. I am doing this as I go because it's a Halloween look, so I decided pink in that moment. And of course I'm blending those shades together. Adding the, back, um, the black towards my crease, I wasn't sure how much I was going to smoke it out, so I just packed it on layer by layer and extended it out. This brush is from like an old Amazon kit. I have random brushes in my collection. So it has no number and no label. It's just random black and a small shader brush. But it has a tiny bit of fluffy to it and that's why it was easy to wing it out. Of course I tap off the excess so that way it doesn't have too much fallout. But you can clean up the fallout anyway. I use any makeup remover wipe. I always buy a store, bar, a store brand because they're cheaper. They have more in there. And this is the only thing I use them for. I use them for cleaning up my makeup looks. I don't use them to remove my full face of makeup and with the tip of my nail it helps me clean up the lash line but if you don't have any nails just use a clean eyeliner brush and it makes it so much easier to clean up the smaller spaces there was a lot of fallout because I used so many colors but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be as I'm cleaning it up you could see the, all the layers of shading I had to put in so that way it looked really, really dramatic without it being too choppy and crazy. It was a lot of detailing into this look. It took me so many hours. <laughs> um, the contacts spin a little bit. I'll list where I get the contacts. I don't, I've never worn cat eyes before. I don't know if they all spin. I'm using Poreless by Benefit to prime my face because for Halloween looks, unless it's something glowy, I always want my face to be super matte. To color correct before I put on my foundation, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange. It's my first time using it and I'm so happy with it. I cannot believe it's $3. Um, comparable to the MAC one I typically use, it's just as good. So you don't need to spend all that money on the MAC one. I do suggest the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange. I've been using it lately because I have a lot of deep um, coloring. And then to take away all the red spots, I use the yellow one. After I apply it, I blend it out with my beauty blender. That way it's not too bright underneath my foundation. I'm using a damp beauty blender. And I don't know if you noticed, but I did cut it open. If you watch my snap, you know I cut open my beauty blenders because 
I'm so scared of mold developing. <laughs> I'm just like a germ freak, so I can't help but cut them open so that way I can keep checking even though I do clean them. So using Ultra HD Foundation with a Beauty Blender, um, it's so much better to pat in this foundation. The formula is made to only be pat in by a sponge, so it goes on a lot better and you use a lot less product. I was applying with a brush before I knew, but trust me, it's so much better. Just invest in a Beauty Blender, cut it open if that makes you feel better. Dampen and press it in. Using the Pro Conceal, and I think this is Golden Light, but I'll put it below. It's my first time using it, and I was so happy with it. You could see here, it does go on super bright, but keep in mind this is a Halloween look. I would do it a little bit, um, a little bit more golden, a little bit darker for my everyday looks. But this is so so gorgeous. The way it blended out, the way it applied, how cheap it is, like everything about it, I'm in love. So I'm blending it out here. You can kind of see how good it looks. It is creaseless so far. I mean, I have really, really wrinkly eyes. And then I'm just going to microwave. I say microwave because I definitely don't bake. I just pat in the powder that I like to use. I put it on all the spots that I want to be super matte for this Halloween look. And all the spots that I might have to do a little face paint. I've contoured with the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Toast, Toast in tutorial so many times now, and now I'm going over it with Benefit Hula Bronzer because it's a little bit deeper. And whenever I do my Halloween looks, I like using my real skin color unless I need it to be lighter, and I like going more bronze because all the face paint will wash you out. So I contoured really heavy. <laughs> and this is my favorite bronzer. I was having a good time. These looks take forever, so I blast music. And now I'm using the Lord & Berry Eye Coal. Oh my god, I got it in my BoxyCharm and I could not be happier. It is so dark and smooth. I just added um, black shadow underneath and now I'm cleaning up whatever fell out a little bit with some concealer. Best eyeliner ever. Just to give it more dimension, I'm adding some blending underneath with the same colors that I used on top. Just a little bit of the, of the pink and the purples. And I'm just going to keep blending it down because I like how that looks. I think it looks so much more dramatic and more smoky when you keep blending the line down, especially if you have extra skin under your eyes like I do. And it adds more um, drama to the cat eyes because when you go in with the white, I'm using NYX Milk Eye Pencil. I depotted mine so I can go in with brush. And... I apply it here because usually cat eyes will have this type of um, light center near their eyes and I just go back and forth to make sure it's even. And this is an eyeliner brush. I dipped it into the white. To make sure it stays because I don't like a creamy look for my Halloween makeup um, looks, I'm using white shadow from a Morphe palette. It makes it super cat-like when you extend the bottom liner too. I can't do that on camera though. <laughs> Using this eyeliner brush and black face paint, I'm just creating the nose for a little cat. And with the same pink eyeshadow, I'm just going to dab it right on top. I didn't think it had to be perfect. I kind of wanted it to be like not so much about the nose and more about the mouth. So this really tied it together without making all the attention on the nose. To give the structure of... um a cat-like nose. I'm contouring to make my nose look wider than it is. If you were painting a lion, a tiger, these are things, this is the type of contouring you would do, like it pulls your nose apart to add extra shadow on the sides. And you could see the dimension happens right away. Right away my nose looks so much wider. I was really happy with that and I thought it was so cool that I thought of it. I don't know if that was obvious, but it wasn't obvious to me. And this is a Sephora blending brush. Mac. And I use MAC Bamboo to contour. Going in with Elevation Lashes and Inspire 2 and Esquito Bottom Lashes. I forgot the name, but I'll list it below. This really added a lot of cat-like features. Um, the lashes were perfect for this, the bottom and the top. I'm going to go in and highlight with MAC Soft and Gentle. One of my top favorite highlighters, definitely. 
but that wasn't bright enough for me, so I'm going in with Starlight by Anastasia and the Anastasia Highlighting Brush. It looks super, super, super white at first. It is really, really bright, but of course I'm going to blend it down, add blush, and contour it out. And it's also a Halloween look, so going a little bit extra is perfectly fine. If anything, it will just make your look um, way better. With my favorite blush brush, I'm applying Visanti blush. I love this blush. It's super bright and it looks so pretty. I think it turns out really cat-like. These contacts were so annoying though. They just kept turning. Like, do all the cat ones do that? I have no idea. I've only worn the white out ones and a couple other pairs, but none that I could tell if it turned. So I'm starting my mouth, um, it's easiest to extend from where your mouth actually ends. I don't know how to explain that, but using an eyeliner brush and black face paint, I'm starting at the corners and dragging it upward. I did use a tutorial for the mouth, but no, but it's hard to explain because I didn't do it how she did it. I'll list hers below. I didn't do it how she do it, did it, I just basically copied this part because I didn't know where to start. And just filling in wherever I don't want the teeth, I'm just filling in black with the same face paint and the eyeliner brush. This is the only brush I had cleaned to do this, but use whatever brush works best for you. Of course, I was jamming. <laughs> so it looks kind of crazy, but it will all come together. Now I'm filling in the teeth with white face paint. Um, probably another, I think I'm using a lip brush for this part. Can you hear that? I think my dad's watching a movie so loud. Um, yeah, it's just a lip brush with the white face paint. Just so I could, so the black doesn't smear, I was holding a makeup remover wipe and after each tooth, I was wiping it off, putting it back in the water, and then back in the white paint. That way the black face paint won't transfer all over the place. I suggest doing that too. I always keep makeup remover wipes on my vanity because you they just help for so many things to have them right next to you while you're doing your makeup, especially Halloween makeup. Because using face paint can get kind of messy, especially if you're first starting, but it's so easy to remove, so make sure you're using water-based face paint and not cream colors. I think cream colors are so annoying, and water colors just look so much better. To clean it up, um, I use black and just blend it out around the mouth. And now I'm flicking on some whiskers with the same black face paint. To make it super wispy, I was doing this little technique with my wrist. However you feel comfortable applying it though, do it how you like it. But I wanted them to be kind of wispy and not all the attention on the whiskers because my mouth is so dramatic already. And my eyes are so dramatic and the lashes are super wispy so I just wanted it all to tie together. And I hope it does. <laughs> I liked how it looked. I love using a NYX Wonder Pencil to outline where um, I need to paint or draw. It's just a really nude color and once you paint over it you can't see it from underneath so that's really good. It's really useful. I like how it looks and how it applies. And it doesn't tug. It goes on really really smooth and really thin. Using a paintbrush from Cosmetics, I dipped it in white face paint and it's really chunky and square so it made filling this in so much easier. It looks blotchy now, but um, you can go over with a second layer. Don't do too many layers though, because it could chip and come off. Just um, apply one more where you're missing spots, and then use white eyeshadow. Using a Real Techniques brush, this one's kind of chunky, so this was useful too. I'm going in with Snazaru Pink Face Paint. There's not a lot of pink face paints out there. Um, I found Snazaru at Michael's. It's really, really sheer. I don't know if it was supposed to be sheer, but it's really pastel and really sheer. So I go back over it with um, the same pink eyeshadow they, that I use on my eyes to make it more fuchsia rather than baby pink. And it really pulls it together much better. Eyeshadows over um, the water face paint works really, too, really well too if you wanted to make any colors a lot brighter and stand out more. Or if you wanted to like do a base coat and then just how I made this baby pink first 
and then I went over it with the fuchsia. You could barely tell that it was baby pink to begin with. Baby pink. <laughs> So I hope you guys like it. Um, it will show up under black light and look super creepy while you're out if you're going to go party and whatever. I hope you guys like this makeup look. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, for any more updates, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. Those are both Tina K Pro MUA. And if you have any questions, please ask me on Twitter. My Twitter name is just Tina Kosnick. And um, everything will be down below the details and how to connect with me and my email address. Thank you for watching.